Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. I am in the Sparks Sun and this is Day Rambles. Today we're doing season one, episode six of Jessica Jones called You're a Winner, aka You're a Winner. <laughs> so, anyway, we start off with Kilgrave um, playing cards and tells everyone to go all in and tells basically to everyone to fold. <laughs> and so he wins over like the most crappiest cards on the planet. So, he it was like took over one million dollars, and a guy's being kind of a douche about it, you know, obviously because he's upset. And so he says, I want you to put your head through the wall. And so he begins to do that. So he leaves. Then Malcolm talks to Jessica about Kilgrave, then cages at the door, and he wants to hire her. She says no, and basically he explains that he wants her to find. Uh, someone named Antoine. And so she accepts, and then we have Hogarth calls her, and Hope was attacked. Then we have Jessica talks to Sissy at the prison after Hogarth um, struck out trying to get answers, and then turns out Hope wanted to get hit, and turns out Hope is actually pregnant with Kilgrave's baby. So, um, she wants an abortion, so Je Jessica takes a pick for Kilgrave, then, uh, basically, we have Kilgrave in a coffee shop, and he tells everyone to shut up as he gets the picture, and, um, turns out he's looking at houses on the internet in there, and then we have Jessica on Anton's, Antoine's case, and then runs into Luke, and they run into, uh, basically the sharks. <laughs> the basically, um, people that I guess Antoine owes money to. And then Cage makes a deal with them. Then Cage, then Cage gives her a ride on a motorcycle. Then Malcolm wants to talk, um, talk to Cage for a second. And then we have Hogarth pops, uh, question to Pam. So, uh, that's her assistant. And she says yes. Then we have Jessica gets uh, knock uh, gets knock on the door, and it's Cage again. So they talk slash make out. Then Cage offers to help with Kilgrave, and then we have Antoine uh, called and gives address. And it turns out they're fake people because basically when they're doing research, uh, she called Antoine and like uh, basically she has a really good accent of like making different. Um, inflictions on her voice to make it sound different and so basically she posed as a person that a lot of person that say, like, hey you want money call us bye and then uh then we have Keisha's friend has answers on his wife and then we have a flashback where Jess Jessica was at the site Cage uh, mentioned and basically, he was trying to find something, and he couldn't find it. It turns out Jessica already did that. And then, um, then we have, uh, uh, and then we have uh, some type of thumb drive in the box. They have the present day where Jessica is uh, spazzing out a little bit, and so Cage um, is leaving. Then Malcolm shouts to Jessica. Then Jessica gives Hope a pill for the um, abortion. And then we have Kilgrave wants um, a house, and you got and he wants to get, he wants to get the guy one point two six million dollars, which is over double of what the house is worth. And he doesn't use his powers. He um, says like, "Hey, I'll give you twenty four hours. I'm gonna do this all the board." And so that's what he does. And Jessica and Cage follow the guy to a warehouse, and they run into. A bunch of drugs and dogs. Then Jessica grabs Antoine, and then the sharks show up, and um, they basically have all the fights, which is actually kind of cool. So she returns Antoine to the sister, and then basically she was trying to get information before Luke Cage did. Then Cage shows up and gets info. It turns out the bus the bus driver was drunk as hell. And then the girl says that Cage just went after uh, the guy, whose name is Wallace. Then Cage is on the bus, and then he confronts the guy and throws him through the windshield. 
Then Jessica shows up and finally confesses that she's the one that killed his wife because Kilgrave told her to. And then he gets really mad, calls her a piece of sh And then we have Malcolm as at a meeting for basically, it's like a Kilgrave support group that, you know, because he went through, they all went through a lot. So they were trying to, you know, talk to each other and trying to explain their stuff. And then um, Hogarth actually stayed with Hope. And then we have Jessica um, uh, goes over streets. And she starts to spaz out again. That's how she comes down. And so Kilgrave got the house. And it is Jessica's old house. And that's the episode. What a twisted episode. Like Kilgrave is... It's, it's so interesting because, like, he is, like, infatuated with her, and I would think he would just drop it by now. But the fact that um, he buys a house on the streets that she tries to remember to snap out of her PTSD and to for her to get over it is so insane and so twisted. It's, like, insane. It's just, it's a, it makes for a brilliant episode, but it's straight up crazy. But I really, really like the episode. I'll give this A+. Plus. I like how, you know, Cage and Jessica kind of work together a little bit. And so I kind of like that. And and I like, I, I'm i just glad she finally confessed about the freaking, uh, what she did. And, you know, that's all out in the air and all out now. So anyway, I'm tired. So anyway, I think that's wonderful for this video. So if you like this video, please give it a like, comment down below, tell me what you think. Do you agree, disagree? And if you want to suggest other things like TV shows, movies, or music, just let me know down below and subscribe. And I'll see y'all in the next video. Bye.